The City of Saskatoon is currently working to amend the Blairmore Sector Plan. The City periodically reviews and amends sector plans to make sure they remain up to date and reflect the long-term vision of the City. In this case, the existing Blairmore Sector Plan was approved in 2011. Along with this video, we've created a web page that includes the full draft sector plan document, the full natural area screening, a frequently asked questions document, and a questionnaire so interested parties can provide feedback. The sector plan document is not yet finalized, and input received during this stage of the project can still influence the final product. All feedback is welcomed. The Blairmore sector is located on the far west side of Saskatoon, bounded by city limits and comprising approximately 3,000 hectares of land. The sector includes the Blairmore Urban Center, formerly known as Blairmore Suburban Center, which includes the Shaw Center, two high schools, and a mixture of commercial, institutional, and residential development. The sector also includes the currently under construction Kensington neighborhood, which is primarily made up of residential development, along with some commercial properties. The sector includes several existing industrial facilities, including the CN Chapel Yards. The majority of the sector is undeveloped, primarily operating as agricultural land. There are also natural areas in the sector, including two afforestation areas and several wetland complexes. Saskatchewan's Planning and Development Act 2007, the provincial legislation that governs how cities are planned, requires that sector plans and any amendments to them include public engagement and receive final approval from City Council. The City's Official Community Plan, or OCP, helps lay out the framework to make Saskatoon a livable and thriving community. The OCP provides a direction for sector plans and concept plans throughout the City. A sector is typically comprised of areas that will eventually become 6 to 10 neighborhoods. A sector plan provides high-level planning direction and identifies requirements for the concept plans that will eventually be created within the sector. Concept plans lay out more details, like locations of local streets, parks, and schools, how land will be used, and detailed plans for stormwater, sanitary sewer, and water distribution. Most often, concept plans are submitted for individual neighborhoods. Why are we amending the Blairmore Sector Plan? There is a change to the sector's boundary, where areas outside city limits that were included in the 2011 Sector Plan will be removed, and land in the southwestern area of the city, formerly known as the Southwest Sector Plan Study Area, will be added. An amendment is needed to ensure consistency with new policy direction that has been approved by the city since 2011. This includes the new Official Community Plan, the Green Infrastructure Strategy, the Active Transportation Plan, and plans for bus rapid transit along 22nd Street West. Finally, an amendment was needed to respond to changing market conditions, including an identified need for more commercial lands on the west side of the city. Work to date on the sector plan has included a review of existing policy and establishment of a broad vision for the sector, a natural area screening, or NAS, that was performed by EDI, Environmental Dynamics Incorporated, a third party environmental consultant. The NAS included a desktop study of the entire sector, in which existing and readily available information was reviewed, 
The NAS also included a field study for the two afforestation areas. This was the first time a field study was included in a sector plan NAS in Saskatoon, as field studies typically happen at the concept plan stage of development. An online stakeholder engagement was held in early summer 2022. 37 questionnaire responses and two emails were received from stakeholders. With the NAS recommendations and stakeholder feedback received, a draft of the sector plan was developed and reviewed by city administration. This extensive internal review process provided an opportunity for other city divisions and departments to give feedback, ensuring that the sector plan is consistent with the policies and desired directions of other work groups at the city. This stage also included a review under the city's triple bottom line policy, which examined the environmental, social, and economic considerations for the sector plan. Identified stakeholders and subject matter experts were notified about the stakeholder engagement in June of 2022. This included environmental and recreation groups, adjacent community associations, utility providers, and other groups or individuals with an interest in the project. In general, stakeholder feedback supported keeping and maintaining natural areas, particularly the two afforestation areas, better cyclist and pedestrian connectivity, especially in relation to green spaces, as well as plans to relocate the CN Chapel Yards access road further to the west, in alignment with the Montgomery Place local area plan. General concern was expressed about the relationship between wetlands and stormwater facilities, as well as the proposed industrial lands west of Montgomery Place. As we have talked about, the Blairmore sector contains two afforestation areas, the Richard St. Barbie Baker afforestation area and the George Genru Urban Regional Park, both in the southwestern corner of the city. The sector plan proposes the conservation of both areas. Only improvements that conserve the natural and cultural heritage resources or enhance the recreational and educational use of the area will be allowed within the afforestation areas. Future guiding plans led by the city, including natural area management plans, will determine the specific usage of the afforestation areas. The city has begun work on a pilot natural area management plan for the Richard St. Barbie Baker afforestation area. A link to the engagement webpage for that project is available on this project's webpage. The natural area screening identified six wetland complexes in the Blairmore sector, notably the West Whale, which runs north-south through roughly the middle of the sector and extends into the RM of Corman Park on both ends. Within city limits, the West Whale has both Class 4 semi-permanent wetlands and Class 5 permanent wetlands. Due to the shallow depth of the swale and the presence of the rail yard, that has blocked the natural outlet of the swale since the 1960s, the West Swale is prone to fluctuations in water levels. The extremities, as shown in these images taken from Highway 7, span from wet conditions in 2013 that nearly flooded the highway, to dry conditions in 2022 in which most of the swale, including Class 5 wetlands, were completely empty of water. The sector plan includes requirements for hydrogeological and ecological field studies of the West Swale before any adjacent concept plan can be considered. The sector plan amendment includes a future extension of bus rapid transit further west down 22nd Street. With this extension, 
comes the opportunity for a new corridor growth area that will include denser mixed use forms of development along and near the transit corridor. This is part of an overall increase in density for future development in the sector. Additional commercial lands are proposed immediately west of the existing Blairmore Urban Center. Light industrial is proposed between the CP and CN rail lines. Due to the presence of the adjacent Montgomery Place neighborhood, a buffering strategy will be required for any concept plan proposing light industrial near existing residential areas. Further buffering could be achieved through a potential business park proposed on the eastern side of the industrial area. A concept plan for the industrial area would include its own engagement opportunities, where residents could provide feedback on the specifics of any proposed development. It should also be noted that existing city bylaws, including the zoning bylaw, prohibit land uses in light industrial zoning districts that cause nuisance beyond the boundaries of the property. The sector plan identifies the afforestation areas as open space or green space, consistent with the proposal to conserve the areas. As discussed, the sector plan proposes the extension of bus rapid transit further west down 22nd Street. This extension is not expected to occur until closer to the time of development west of Nault Road. The access road to the CN Chapel Yards is proposed to be relocated further to the west, moving it away from the Montgomery Place neighborhood. Active transportation in the Blairmore sector is proposed to mirror what is shown in the citywide active transportation plan. Multi-use pathways and cycling infrastructure are proposed throughout the sector. More detailed plans for active transportation routes and infrastructure will be determined through the concept plan process for each area of development. Stormwater servicing in the Blairmore sector will be challenging given the lack of elevation change throughout the sector. In fact, the low point of the West Swale is only four meters lower than the high point of the entire sector. Unlike most of the city, which slopes towards the river, the majority of the Blairmore sector slopes towards the West Swale. As the Swale is a natural low point of the area, it will likely play some role in the stormwater plan for neighborhoods west of Nault Road. However, the sector plan requires that additional studies must occur before considering any concept plans that propose to use the West Swale as part of their stormwater plan. Stormwater ponds throughout the sector are encouraged to be naturalized and four bays will be required wherever stormwater enters existing wetlands, allowing for the filtration of sediment. The sanitary sewer system for neighborhoods west of Nall Road will require new infrastructure namely a lift station and force main to relay sewage away from the sector and ultimately to the city's sewage treatment plant. The water distribution system will connect to existing water infrastructure on 11th Street and 33rd Street, as well as a new connection along 22nd Street. A new water reservoir is proposed near Nault Road. Timelines for the phasing plan are largely dictated by the servicing strategy and market demand, and thus are subject to change. Currently, Kensington is about half built out. Once Kensington nears completion, the phase one development, located to the north of Kensington and to be known as Elk Point, can proceed. Phase one is expected to begin in roughly five years. Following this, phase two, located west of the Blairmore Urban Center, can begin. Most of phase two is expected to begin in roughly 20 years. It should be noted that a small portion of phase two may be able to proceed ahead of the rest of the neighborhood, utilizing existing servicing capacity from adjacent neighborhoods. However, this development would be limited to approximately 30 hectares, much smaller than a full-size neighborhood. 
Phase 3, located west of Kensington and expected to be developed as two neighborhoods, is expected to begin in roughly 35 years. Phase 4, located west of the Swale and expected to be developed as three neighborhoods, may be more than 50 years away. The industrial area, shown here as the to be determined phase, has less certain timelines. However, the need for servicing will dictate that the industrial area cannot realistically proceed until phase two is serviced, meaning development of the industrial area will likely begin more than 20 years from now. The sector plan amendment is currently in the public and stakeholder engagement phase. Following this, all feedback will be reviewed and changes to the sector plan document will be considered. In late summer, the final text, figures, and overall design of the sector plan will be completed. Then, in late 2023, the sector plan will go to city committees and council for final approval. Administration will prepare reports for the appropriate city committees and MIWASAN before going to City Council for public hearing. Through this process, members of the public will have the opportunity to share their feedback directly with the committees and council by submitting comments or requesting to speak. City Council will make the final decision as to whether the sector plan amendment is approved. Please visit our engagement page at saskatoon.ca engage for project updates, and for opportunities to participate and give your feedback. Thank you for your interest in the Blairmore Sector Plan Amendment.